So tonight, plugged in, capitalizing on teenagers who are rarely seen without a phone, tablet, or laptop. Instead of fighting it, the staff at Burlington High School embrace that reality. They are tapping into the expertise of these tech-savvy students, as Paula Evan shows us in tonight's Eye on Education. The students themselves are now running the IT help desk. When an app won't work, you hit Google Drive, or an iPad won't connect to the network, these students are the very first place to turn for students and teachers at Burlington High School. I just enjoyed helping students out. It's really important to have a lot of knowledge on technology. It's very, very real world. It's practical experience that they are developing. The student-run help desk started in 2011 when every kid was first assigned an iPad. Why not leverage? Uh, the people who are really the experts uh, with these kinds of things, so we enlisted students. While troubleshooting is still a main goal of the help desk, the students are testing new apps, teaching new skills, and finding ways to integrate technology into the classroom. Teachers here really embrace the fact that they can get help from students. Each team member also runs a blog, a chance to explore their own digital interests. This model has allowed students uh, to find their voice and, and to know how to assert it. That strong voice guiding their own learning has led many other schools to start up their own versions of student-run technology teams. It's the work of the kids, really, that is getting that recognition and that distinction, and, and that makes me very proud. Through their blogs, fellow students can log on and learn iMovie, TweetDeck, and more, a virtual classroom creating real-world confidence. By graduation, I hope to be able to help any problem and any student that comes my way. It's definitely prepared me in the sense that I'm confident as a student addressing any type of issue. So there are a dozen students who make sure the help desk is staffed throughout the entire school day, and it's now being offered as an honors elective. If you have an Ion Education story for us, send an email to ioneducation at cbs.com or tweet me at Paula Eben WBZ.